let's take a look at the lab environment we had set up to include dynamic nodes with PowerMax. Using our VxRail Managed vCenter, we can view and manage our lab environment where we have VCF 4.3.1 running on VxRail 7.0.241. We have two VxRail clusters. We have one management domain cluster built with four VxRail nodes and a traditional vSAN data store. And our workload domain, which has been built with three VxRail dynamic nodes, leveraging an external storage array. In this instance, we have a Dell EMC PowerMax. With VxRail dynamic nodes, the nodes are manufactured without any capacity or cache drives, and therefore the drives in the external storage array or from the vSAN HCI mesh data stores from other clusters, these drives will be used for storage. If we look at the VMs in the dynamic node cluster, we can see that they are located on capacity drives within the PowerMax storage array. And for this traditional vSAN cluster, the VMs here are located in the pool of disks that make up the vSAN data store for this cluster. For your VxRail dynamic node cluster, you will continue to have that coveted VxRail experience with VxRail HCI system software looking after lifecycle management of the nodes and the continued access to the VxRail Manager plugin menus, which we can see here under the Monitor tab and here under the Configure tab. Just as you would see from your standard VxRail cluster leveraging a vSAN data store, which we can see here under the Configure tab for that VxRail cluster. With VxRail version 7.0.240, the fibre channel HPA cards that are supported to connect to those external Dell EMC storage arrays are QLogic and Emulex HPA cards, and they come with 16 gig and 32 gig byte options. These fibre channel HPA cards can be viewed under the Configure tab at host level in vCenter. Go to the storage adapters option here, and you can view the HBA details, which include the WWWN and WWPN numbers for that host and port. Then if you select the devices tab here, you'll be given more information about the disks and LUNs that have been provisioned for the PowerMax. We will now run through a demo showing how to migrate a VM from a VMFS data store to a vSAN data store in vCenter. Migrating VMs between the PowerMax storage array and the vSAN data store is very simple. And we follow the same steps that we would complete if migrating VMs between two vSAN clusters. Start by selecting the VM you wish to migrate using vMotion and right click on it. Scroll through the menu and select the migrate option. We will want to select the compute resource and storage option here and hit next. We will then select the compute resource. And in this instance, we will need the compute resource to be from the vSAN cluster and hit next. And now we will select the destination storage resource to be used for the VM. And again, select the vSAN data store option there and then hit next. Then select the destination network. And hit next. And now we can either schedule the vMotion as normal or as a high priority item, which is recommended. So I have selected the high priority option here and hit next. Take a look to ensure all selections made are correct and then hit finish. This will kick off the migration of the VM from PowerMax to the vSAN data store.